to the ninth episode of New Mac News. I'm John Newton. And I'm Melanie Klusnik. Thanks for joining us. For this month's episode, we will learn about the many community service events our teens participate in during the school year. But first, let's find out how some of our institutions got their campus involved in D3 Week. Smith provided its campus with a little warm-up to D3 Week by letting them know on April 1st that they could get involved with a rebrand initiative that would transition their mascot from a pioneer flamer to a unicorn. Sounds interesting, right? Well, don't worry, it turned out to be a brilliant April Fool's joke. Many of our institutions celebrated D3 Week by getting their campus involved with athletics. We participated in the NCAA's It's On Us campaign by making their video, which helps support consent and bystander intervention. It's on us to make sure our friend gets home safe. To stand up. To step in. To pledge at itsonus.org. To not blame the victim. To support the survivors. To intervene. To get in the way before it happens. To have a voice. To step in before it's too late. When we see something wrong, to interrupt. To look out for each other. To stop sexual assault. Not to blame the victim. To know sex must be consensual. Because without it, it's not sex, it's rape. To step in. To reinforce consent. We are Wheaton women's lacrosse. We are Wheaton baseball. We are Wheaton basketball. We are Wheaton softball. We are Wheaton tennis. We are Wheaton men's lacrosse. And it's on us. What a great way to pull the teams together for a good cause. Our new Max SAC group spent time last year creating a goals and focus document, which outlined several priorities for the group. Community service was at the top of that list and something many of our new Mac teams participate in every year. The MIT Women's Tennis Team works with the Sportsman Tennis Center in Dorchester. This facility provides tennis instruction as well as academic support for its participants, which is what drew the team to the program. MIT Women's Tennis ran a one-day clinic where they played tennis with the kids and shared their strategies for academic success as well. The MIT Men's Basketball Team works with Cradles to Crayons, which is a group that helps provide essential items for home, play, and school to low-income families in the area. MIT basketball players went to the donation center to help process packages to be sent out to hundreds of local families. This year, a couple of our institutions got involved with the Special Olympics. Smith College ran a basketball tournament with eight teams from Western Mass, which was complete with a buzzer beater to tie one of the games. Wheaton was selected as the NCAA's Division III Special Olympic Spotlight Award in the fall when they started with the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign with a local group of seventh graders. This award comes with a $500 grant, which was used for a Heller's Angels event in January. We would like to thank our sponsors at All Worldwide Travel for helping us with our travel needs. And Athletic Link for assisting our members with online services during the hiring process. This week in the New Max SAC, we'll learn more about the Team Impact program by spending some time with kids that participate in the program with our New Mac teams. Currently, 16 New Mac teams sponsor Team Impact Child. Take a look on the positive effect it has on everyone involved. And at board, a transfer from Team Impact, Babson's newest player, number 25, Wild Will McCall of Westwood, Massachusetts. He's accompanied by players Lisa Hartley is the sweetest and quirkiest 10th grader that I have ever met, yet her resilience, perseverance, and will is unmatched. In athletics, we think of those words coupled with tough practices or games, but people like Lisa and her family really embody the true depth and significance of what words like perseverance, determination, and resilience mean in ways that athletics cannot always teach us. Her mother spoke of a young, outgoing girl who was living life to its fullest before she was diagnosed with bulky Hodgkin's lymphoma. Lisa was very quiet and withdrawn during our first interaction together. My first impression of what I thought to be a reserved and timid teenage girl could not have been further from reality. During Lisa's treatment process, I spoke with her mother multiple times a week about her daughter and her attitude towards her illness and treatment. One specific day this year, Lisa came with her mother to practice to share some special news with our team. Once everyone was up in the gym and ready to go, we circled up to listen to Lisa. She told us that her doctor had just called to inform her that day that she was officially cancer free. A nice big cheer and some clapping and dancing ensued, but when she looked up, she gave me the biggest smile I have yet to see her give, and I glanced over to her mother who gave me a tearful smile and a wink. 
and uh, we brought Ezra in to the, uh, see the facility and look at the weight room and uh, kind of watch practice and stuff and spend some time with the team. And uh, after, after spending time with, with Ezra and having him with the team, realized um, uh, because of his character, energy, enthusiasm, and uh, being able to battle adversity with a smile, we figured he'd be, he'd be a good fit for our Wheat Lacrosse program here. We decided um, after talking to the coaching staff and, and the captains to, um, uh, to, to make Ezra an official member of the Wheaton College Men's Lacrosse program. So please accept uh, this jersey and hat as an official welcome uh, to the Wheaton College Men's Lacrosse program. positive impact on the life of a child. If you'd like to learn more information on how your team can get involved, contact one of your campus SAC members. With the winter season finishing up and spring sports well underway, the New Mac fans have not lit up their support for their teams. Congratulations to Mike Owens from WPI. Mike Owens is at every basketball and football game. He can be seen dressed as Elvis at the basketball contest and in full body paint at football games. No matter what the weather, he is by far the loudest fan in the crowd and can always be counted on to get the student section cheering. Thanks for joining us. We hope you tune in next month when we learn about the different internships our student athletes are participating in. I'm Melanie Klusnik. And I'm John Newton. See you next time.